Should you get an MRI for a rotator cuff tear? Your doctor's probably gonna send you to get an x-ray first and then likely an MRI. And the MRI can see the tissues inside here, the tendons that are connected to the ball and socket joint, all those rotator cuff tendons, but it's not 100% accurate. It's possible that if they find a rotator cuff tear on the MRI that it's not that bad or that you don't even have a tear, but the other end of it can happen too. It might show that you're normal in your rotator cuff tendons and you actually do have a tear. The main thing to go by is your symptoms. If your symptoms present like a classic rotator cuff tear, then you probably have a rotator cuff tear. You need to do treatment. You can use treatment as diagnostic, meaning if you do a rotator cuff tear treatment and you start to get better, you probably have a rotator cuff tendon tear. Hey, if you're interested in more ways to heal your rotator cuff problem naturally, you can catch the full length videos on our YouTube channel.